Hey Factionistas, and welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween, which is a new Halloween tutorial every single day, of course. Today we're doing a pop art zombie. I was a little creatively, didn't know what to do, and after, you know, two werewolf failed attempt videos that lasted me all day long, I was like, you know what? I'm doing a pop art zombie. But without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, okay. So I'm doing my traditional, usual beginning steps, and I'm just outlining everything that I'm going to do with the NYX white eyeliner. This is going to help keep me focused and really, you know, so I know where everything is placed, and really it helps when you have a more complicated design like this where there's different movements and different elements to it. It really helps you keep you grounded. So at first I draw the skull, and now I'm drawing the separation between my face skin into the skull, and then the top forehead section is going to be the brain. And then now I'm just etching out an easy nose and then the mouth shape, and then adding a couple little holes for, like, some rotting flesh. You know what I'm feeling? You know? You feel me? You do. So I'm going in with Mayron's Lime Green. This is a water-activated face paint that gets creamy when you add water to it. And I'm going to just add this to the skin tone sections, leaving out any of those mouth areas, those little bit of wound uh, flesh areas, and, of course, the skull on the brain. So you just want to get the little face foundation color going, and it's green and it's popping. Okay? Okay. Once you have that all on, I'm just going to contour really quick with this emerald green shade from Anastasia, and I'm just going to, you know, get them cheekbones real good, like, because you know what's want to be sexy and defined. Um, I'm doing this because if you wanted to, like, if you really want to sketch out, like, a defined cheekbone shading, I don't want to cover up these wound marks that we're going to uh, end up filling in with pink and then have to reshape them and reform them, so I'm just doing it first. And then I'm taking a white water activated face paint, also by May Run, um, and I'm just going to apply that to the forehead, which is the bone area. So this is kind of the exposed skull that kind of continues on to a side temple, and you just want to fill that in with the white, getting those lines really to hug that green. And then going with the pink by Mayron, I'm going to fill in the brain. So essentially, I'm going in with kind of like these squiggle motions. You don't really, I don't think, have to do that. You could just fill the entire thing in with pink and then shade it to have movement if you want, or just do it with a squiggly so that helps you, you know, stay focused. But then once you have all of that, I'm going to start shading the skull just a titty bitty. So I'm working from the forehead down. So I'm going in with a gray eyeshadow mixed with a little bit of a light brown, and I'm going to just kind of do a separation from when the skull meets the temple, and then when the skull kind of has that curve in it, and then it's going to round out till the center of the forehead so I want to shade shadow going from the outer perimeters of each side of the skull fading into the white right in the center and that's going to add the illusion of curvature you feel me you do I need to stop saying that so I'm taking this pink um Anastasia eyeshadow from the modern renaissance palette and it's the perfect shade because it's a t pink but it's deeper than the brain pink so we're going to use that to shade the outer parts of that brain as well as add in those squiggly motion lines so this is the first time uh, coloring brains I try to look at a picture of a brain I'm like oh my god brains are so detailed so I try to simplify it I don't know we, I tried I tried to do the brain I'm sorry my brain couldn't do a brain we just want to add squigglies. But very important is you want to add a, a nice shaded line at the bottom of that where the skull meets the brain. That's going to imply shadow. And that the brain is lower and the skull is higher, resting on top of the brain. Say brain one more time. So I'm going to use this brown eyeshadow now, and I'm going to do the separation from the face skin into the skull. So I wanted to use a brown because so I didn't want it to be as harsh or the exact same shades as the BR. A I N, you know? So I'm just shading that in, and then you want to go in with a little bit of black eyeshadow now to just deepen up right, hugging right as thin as you can, right into that green, and that's gonna add that maximum separation and then blend that in. I almost said you feel me. God, I need to get new words. So I'm using a little bit of green face paint to clean up any of those lines. If you, you know, blend a little too extreme and it kind of goes lower than you want it, just go back in with that face paint and clean it up. So now I'm taking a white face paint again, and I'm going to add teeth. I'm adding a little bit of missing teeth because he's a zombie and he's cute like that. So uh, just use a brush. It kind of looks like this. It's a concealer brush, so you can use the width of the brush to your advantage so the teeth are the same shape all the way through. So I'm going in with this light pink shade. It's a lot lighter than the brain. This is by Makeup Forever, and I'm going to use that to shade in the... Uh, areas of the mouth and the wound hole. So you just want to take that same concealer brush, I just cleaned it off, and you want to add that face paint everywhere that isn't already filled in except for the nose. Now I'm grabbing some black face paint also by Mayron, and we're just going to fill in that nosy because it's just empty, like your soul. You know what I mean? Easy peasy. I'm using a liner brush to do this because it is a small area. And then now I'm taking that emerald shade again, and I'm going to start shading the sides of the mouth. So what I'm doing here is everywhere that there's a curve going outwards from that mouth, I'm shading it there because there would be a ripple in the skin. And that's going to add a little bit more movement 
and definition. And then once you have that emerald laid down, I'm taking a, a gray eyeshadow and I'm just buffing that in a little bit smaller than the original blending. And I'm going to apply that right at the base to add maximum movement and to really make that look very bendish. You know what I'm saying? And then, so you want to just clean up again. So I'm taking that same pink and I'm making sure that those lines are nice and sharp. Cool. So now I'm taking that same deep pink that we used to shade the brain. I keep saying brain now. I'm so many brains. And I'm going to shade the outer sides of the mouth. I'm focusing mostly on the outer parts of the mouth, leaving that pink in the center by the teeth because that's going to add curvature of movement. But then I'm also shading the same wound areas that have that empty space to add some little bit of depth and so the skin is kind of on top of these holes. So with a black uh, face paint, again, now I'm taking a liner brush and I'm going to start just defining everything. So I, I re-enhance those same squiggles that we use with shadow with a black line. Be sure to get them as tiny and straight as you possibly can, but I just couldn't do it today. But I'm seeing, taking that same black and I'm outlining absolutely everything. So whatever we had already done, outline it. And then when you get to the mouth section, you're going to want to outline each tooth. But then you're also going to want to fill in those empty spaces. So you're just going to go in and outline each tooth in the same direction that we did. You don't have to focus on the lines being too clean because we're going to fill in all of that with black. So once you get every tooth defined, you want to just fill in those empty spaces. But then I'm also going to curve them outwards into an almost smile. So it has a little bit of a reason to be there. So if you just filled in the teeth, it would just be like, why are these black holes existing? I wanted to make it make a little bit more sense by pulling them out into like a little bit of a mouth section. And then now I'm taking that and adding dots. There's little black dots everywhere. Pop Art has these dots. And then now I'm filling in my eyebrow with black using an angled brush. And then you also want to sweep in a little bit of brow expression lines. Using that emerald to contour the frame of the body, we're going to deepen that up with black. So we're just going to grab fat, black, black face paint and uh, fill in that temple area, redefine any shadows, and highlight. You know, same old stuff. So with that black liner, I'm creating a little bit of an exaggerated cheekbone, so it's very obvious and shapely. And then we're also going to do that with a little bit of a bottom jawline. So just sweep that over to get a nice little de bottom defined jaw and like a very pop art feel. And then with black face paint, just enhance the overall face shape. Boom, pop in your favorite white contacts. And now we're just gonna fill in the eyeball. By the way, these contacts, I don't know where I bought them. I just Googled white out contacts and I bought them from like the first site that came up. I don't really have a brand and I love love. So um, just add that white in and then now we're, or, sorry, add the white to the water line and then shade with some emerald green to really enhance those eye bags. So you could fill them in like I did with pink, or you could just leave them. You know, do you. You can do an all black smoky eye if you're a girl you wanted, you know, or you know, not even if you're a girl, if you want to just do a nice smoky eye with some wing liner, do that. You know what I'm saying? So I just filled in that pink with black and now I'm shading in the eye, just the crease like real quick just to add definition with that same emerald green. And then you are done, my friends. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. I'm not showing you the neck because I was so done after a full 24 hours of filming that I was like, you know, whatever. So I just filled it in with black and I hate it so much. So just don't look at it. But I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys learned something new and feel a little pop party this Halloween season. Definitely follow me on social, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye, friends. Oh, you're my friend. <laughs>